Welcome to the Women and Girls Empower Women Summit virtual experience across borders. This summit is designed to provide empowerment, advocacy, to raise awareness of the plight of women and girls across borders by documenting similarities and differences and promoting gender-based violence prevention and gender equality in governance. This summit will be a regional, pedagogical, experiential knowledge share of IVLP alumni between three continents collectively with Trinidad and Tobago, the Bahamas, Ghana, Kenya, Sri Lanka, and India. There are three components to the summit. One, focus group discussions to be held in August of 2021. Two, a five-day virtual workshop to be held November 22nd through the 26th of 2021. And three, a global summit to be held April 4th through the 8th of 2022. We want you to think, share your thoughts, views, experiences, lend your voice as we advocate for equality and equity and navigate towards governance, peace and security for our women and girls. Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, Team Kenya, we welcome you, that is uh, Trinidad and Tobago, India, Sri Lanka, Ghana and Bahamas, you are most welcome. Speaking to you is uh, Mr. Boniface Makori, a teacher at Sunny Girls High School. Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I am Honorable Ibrahim Sane. We are live from Senegal High School in Kenya. Uh, I'm very happy to be with you today, uh, being Friday, the first Friday of the holy month of Ramadan. I say Ramadan Barak to all Muslim community all over the world. Uh, uh, first, uh, allow me to apologize to our viewers all over the world for delaying this uh, uh, live stream today because of technical issues, uh, we apologize for the delay and allow us to continue from now. Uh, this program, uh, GPS for Women uh, Global Summit, where we are today being the last day of the summit after Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, it, uh, it brought together the six countries, as my brother mentioned, uh, that's Kenya, Ghana, India, Sri Lanka, Bahamas, Trinidad, and Tobacco. Uh, I thank, great thank to our brother, M. Tumas Elwazi, who had been our lead person for this program, all the way from uh, TNT, the Caribbean. My brother, thank you very much uh, on behalf of Senegal and the rest of the team members from Kenya. Uh, you are wonderful. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so at this point, uh, I'll allow us play our national anthem, Kenya national anthem, to welcome our viewers all over the world. Thank you. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Prayer God of mercy and compassion, after all the years of our violence, you have given a vision of life 
in community with the earth and with one another. Give us grace to achieve the goals upon which we are united. An education for all worthy of the human spirit and the attainment of maturity and wisdom. God, give perseverance. God, give grace. The equality of women and men at all ages and in all areas of responsibility. God, give perseverance. God, give grace. The reduction of inequality within and among the nations that impairs the order and justice of human society. God, give perseverance. God, give grace. The development of structures of justice and peace that all may share equally in human society and in the life of its peoples and institutions. God, give perseverance. God, give grace. The United Nations Human Rights Pledge I will respect your rights regardless of who you are. I will uphold your rights even when I disagree with you. When anyone's human rights are denied, everyone's rights are undermined. So I will stand up. I will raise my voice. I will take action. I will use my rights to stand up for your rights. Each and every one of us can make a difference. Okay, uh, allow me to remind that we are in a, all of our, we, the projects is, is based in six countries, as we said earlier, they are different on time zone. So we have to remind ourselves on this, uh, that uh, it's now, now five uh, yeah five twenty seven p.m. in Cape Spain where our brother in Prima is ten twenty seven uh, Delhi seven fifty seven and the uh, Bahamas ten twenty seven of course uh, uh, Ghana two twenty seven uh, this is a time difference uh, before maybe we introduce uh, here. A short speech from our keynote speaker. Uh, this project started in the year 2020, November, when the corona pandemic was with the world. There was all over landlords, uh, lockdowns, and all those kind of uh, restrictions brought down to us by the corona. So it just happened a day when I sat down and uh, wrote a message to uh, the, our VILP 2016 WhatsApp page that, hey guys, let us wake up, let us come together and unite as, an, as nations to become one so that in order we can address together the vice of uh, peace, security, and gender, including gender based violence and all other manners of human rights violation. Uh, do you, from that message, the six countries responded to us positively and we have chosen our brother in Tima as our lead person from there now GPS was born We're almost two years old coming to the end of our third phase of the program uh, hoping that this is the end of our beginning we shall be continuing uh, Thank you for the support of all those who, who supported us in this program. Uh, not forgetting my colleagues, Leticia, Kendra, Shihar, uh, mother, Queen, Queen Mother, Nana, and our brother who left us prematurely, Irbad Ibrahim from Ghana. Uh, so not forgetting our able lead person, none other than MTMA. At that point, uh, I'll introduce a short keynote uh, talk from our keynote speaker, Dr. Hawa Abdul Ghafur. He's a medic wa working with the government of Kenya, Ministry of Health. Uh, she works at the county level of Tana River a Referral Hospital. She handles victims of GBV and FGM at her desk. 
let us hear from you. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Hawa Abdul Gafur from Kenya, working, working with the Ministry of Health and dealing with gender-based violence, including FGM. FGM is a very harmful cultural practice which is still very common in Kenya, especially the type 3. Major side effects that we can get uh, through FGM uh, uh, is the girl-child education, her health empowerment and her security. On education, there's, history, there's dropout of schooling or missing of, of classes and history of low grade uh, from, the, from her performance. On health issues, we have urinary tract infection, excessive bleeding, mental health, which, is, which we may end up with a post-traumatic stress disorder, history of uh, sexual, uh, uh, painful sexual intercourse. When we move to delivery, we have issues of obstructed labor, pro prolonged labor, unnecessary cesarean sections issues to do with um, maternal and neonatal mortality at large. On empowerment and security, they have low self-esteem, early marriages, forced marriages. Finally, may I take this opportunity to thank Honorable Sani for these efforts in ending FGM and gender-based gender -based violence in FGM, especially at the grassroots level through the GPS project. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, allow me to give a brief introduction of Sunny Girls High School and how it began. Sunny Girls High School began as a rescue center of those young girls who were rescued from a female genital mutilation, among other vices. It began in 2015. Uh, it attracted around 30 girls. Uh, and uh, a year after, uh, Honre Bosane, the then member of parliament, Garrison constituency, saw it better to transform this uh, center into a school to what it came to be called girls. In fact, this school has changed and so many girls are uh, to achieve their dreams. Kudos, Honre Bosane. Thank work. you very Indeed. much. Maybe if you can tell us briefly, what is the population of the school currently? How many girls are within and what is the type of school? Uh, this is a boarding school. It has close to 300 students, which is a good number. And we thank God for that. Thank you very much. Up next is a song uh, by Sane Girls. Uh, this is a song whereby our young girls are rejoicing that they are now away from the bondage of female genital mutilation, marriages, uh, sex trafficking, and other gender-based violence-related issues. Thank you. Sunny girls brigade are here today to confirm that what is harmful is universal. In fact, thousands of females are raped and murdered each and every day. Women shall be protected and loved. Young innocent girls are killed every day. Our future doctors, lawyers, accountants are murdered every day. No simply means no. Thank you. Uh, up next is a song from uh, Ghana entitled Her Story. Let us listen in.
Okay, so the problem was way back SHS. I remember I wanted to stand out for a position, and my female colleagues told me I can't I can't do that, so I should stop. And because I hadn't known um, GPS at then and how to uh, speak out or stand firm, I just stopped. I followed them and I stopped because I I was like they are my friends and they will be helping me in campaigning, and now they are looking down upon me. So how am I going to win? But now I know without them, I can and I can do it. So I'll, I'll urge all ladies to join GPS for them to, to get that confidence, to get that boldness to do everything they do. Yes, what men can do, women can do better. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much for that nice uh, song. In fact, this song has given uh, young girls hope that what men can do, uh, women can do better. Up next is a, a poem from India uh, talking about the same thing. Let us listen in. Good evening, everyone. I'm Shreya Bhatia, and I'm here to present a poem on the title, Unheard Voice. I know I have a strong voice in me, and I can use it to make the world stand up and see situations which are not quite a pleasant sight and which on humanity remained a blight. We should stand up and fight for our right as we are led by our inner light. India, my country, faces the problems of discrimination. Although much is being done for its eradication, we must raise our voice against the wrong and try to live in harmony and be strong. I want to live in a world of equality, where women can uphold their heads with dignity. Those who face violence are not victims, but bold survivors, and they should not hide their and hide, but raise their heads higher. Everybody should live without the fear of violence, and women on their part should break the silence. Everybody should have an unbiased heart so that everyone feels together and not apart. Here, I quote Dr. Abdul Kalam's poem, where there is righteousness in the heart, there's beauty in the character. Where there's beauty in the character, there's harmony in the home. Where there's harmony in the home, there's order in the nation. Where there's order in the nation, there is peace all around the world. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you very much, Cindy. Uh, allow me to point out that uh, this project was not as easy as, easy as may, many may think. It also had a number of challenges, which we, alhamdulillah, thank to our God, we overcame. Uh, remember, considering people in different countries with different time uh, time zones in different time zones remember the covid 19 with us implementing a project with all the restrictions we had in, uh, including hand washing social distancing lockdowns and many others uh, also the cultural diversity not to forget and languages uh, hindered at one point or the other communication went smoothly though uh, there were some uh, obstacles on, on on cultural issues but we thank god we have come now talking the same language after all this time and thank to Mtima. Uh, sometimes we gave him some stress when we text him in the mid of the night maybe at 2 a.m uh, his time we may some of us forget and think that it's the daytime, forgetting that MTMS is deep sleep at 1 or 2 a.m. at his home. So uh, we all overcame this. And next is uh, Ramona, her story on, by Ramona, a youth ambassador from Bahamas. Welcome. And now we have with us another one of our participants. This is Ramona, who is from a Kefren International Academy. And Ramona is actually our top 
participant for the GPS Summit for Team Bahamas. Uh, she has been one of those who has participated in all aspects of the program and really went above and beyond in terms of the work and the presentations that she gave. And Ramona is going to share with us her overall perspective of the program that she's been participating in for almost over these nine months. Ramona, thank you for being here. Good morning. Thank you so much for inviting me. This is uh, my pleasure for actually being here. Um, today marks, not really marks, but emphasizes a very important event. And I feel like it should be brought awareness to. So International Women's Day, I'm so glad to be here. And so during the program, I've been able to participate with a lot of different students, members from all over the world, different countries above borders. So I would say that there was a lot of lessons being taught throughout the program. And so one thing I really wouldn't want to take away from that and also from today's brief discussion is that my rights are human rights. And so I believe that not just saying that, but actually knowing the divine understanding, the message behind it is very important. And so also that in order to break the boundaries that were fomented by society, we also need to know that and be able to encourage others, educate the world about this undermined issue. And so for many decades, women and girls have been undermined for just biologically being females in all aspects. So I feel like programs like the GPS needs to be brought more awareness to because things, topics, as we spoke about, gender equality, just as a mainframe, hasn't been brought enough attention to, especially in today's educational curriculum. So I feel like that's something that we should focus on as a country. Thank you so very much, Ramona. And before we go to our final video, I want to thank all of you who have been streaming in from around the world. I want to also acknowledge all of those persons who are here in the form of our facilitators, Ms. Annette Humes, Mr. David Williams, Ms. Kenya Higgs Moss, and Okay, thank you very much. Next is uh, I am poem by Shitija, uh, a youth ambassador from India. Uh, welcome, let us hear a poem. I am poem from India. I understand how melancholy my life has become. I say it will all be okay. I dream about being the happiest kid on the block. I try to say it out loud, to know myself, no matter how imperfectly, but I try. I hope I'll get through this, for whatever trauma that has fallen upon me certainly isn't bigger than me. I am the one I would count upon. I am the one I strive to become. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, may I acknowledge uh, the efforts and uh, well job well done by the technical team led by Juan Emmanuel right from the beginning to, to today. Uh, we have to recognize and honor you. Thank you very much for the good work you have been doing. Uh, and at this juncture, allow, to, allow me to welcome uh, uh, I Am Poem. I Am Poem by the beautiful girls uh, from sunny girls none other than grandy and her friend maria who are ambitious and focused girls from sunny girls as uh, they are part of uh, the gps cohorts thank you very much welcome my good sisters i'm confident and wise I wonder about the violence in the world. I hear people calling for their rights. I see many crimes in my sight. I want to stand and raise my voice. I'm confident and wise. I pretend to know everything. I feel as if I was in the sky. I touch the smoky clouds. I worry about the world. I cry about violence. I'm confident and wise. The world will come to an end. I say God will punish the wrongdoers. I dream of ending violence. I try not to lose my courage. 
I hope God will answer my prayers. I'm confident and wise. Yes. Kanak, uh, I am poem from India. Kanak, welcome. I am a loud daughter of a scared father. I am a scared father. Shaktishali beti. I wonder then why do I question myself a thousand times before stepping out? Mujhe aashare hai fir ghar se bahar nikalte vak, mein kuch se hazaar baar sawal kiyo karti hoon. I hear a six-year-old asking, Papa, can I wear a skirt to the party? I see the fear of his girl being raped in his eyes while saying, no, my dear. मैं एक छह साल की बच्चे को बोलते हुए सुनती हूँ पापा क्या मैं आज पार्टी में स्कर्ट पहन सकती हूँ मैं उसकी पिता की आंखों में अपनी बेटी के साथ कुछ गलत ना हो जाने का डर देखती हूँ जब वे कहते हैं नहीं बेटा आई वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ कैन आई लिव विदेंट फियर ऑफ बींग रेप असोल्ट एंड वॉट नॉट मैं जानना चाहती हूँ मैं रोज बलात्कार उत्पीड़न हमले के डर के साथ कैसे रह सकती हूँ I am a loud daughter of a scared father. मैं एक डरे हुए पिता की शक्तिशाली बेटी हूं आई प्रिटेंड एस इफ देर इज नथिंग रॉन्ग इन दिस वर्ल्ड आई फील स्केर टू वेक अप एवरी डे एंड रीड अनदर केस रिपोर्ट टूडे मैं ऐसे दिखावा करती हूं जैसे कि इस दुनिया में कुछ गलत नहीं है मैं रोज सुबह उठने से डरती हूं कि मैं उठूंगी और पढ़ूंगी कल फिर एक लड़की के साथ दुष्कर्म हुआ आई टच द इनविजिबल स्कार्स ऑन माई बॉडी एंड आई वरी इफ आई दोस्ट नाइट मेयर एवर टर्न टू टर्निंग दी स्कार्स रियल आई क्राई इन माई ड्रीम्स टच इन माई टॉन ब्लाउज आई एम अ लाउ डॉटर ऑफ अ स्केट फादर मेरे शरीर के अदृश्य घाव को देखते हुए मैं उन बुरे सपनों की चिंता करती हूँ जिनके सच हो जाने से ये घाव वास्तविक हो सकते हैं मैं रोती हूँ सपनों में अपने फटे कपड़े देखकर मैं एक डरे हुए पिता की एक शक्तिशाली बेटी हूँ आई अंडरस्टैंड आई अंडरस्टैंड हर हेड एंड डिग्निटी बींग स्मैश्ड इज नॉट द सोसाइटी इज कंसर्न आई से सो बिकॉज शी इज Just a human with a high me. I dream for society where a no would mean no. मैं समझती हूँ कि उसके सिर और गरिमा को चिन्हित हो जाने से समाज को कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता मैं ऐसा क्यों कहती हूँ क्योंकि वो तो बस एक लड़की है मैं एक ऐसे समाज की कल्पना करती हूँ जहां ना का मतलब ना ही होगा I try to make my father worry less about his daughter being slaughtered. I hope we stand all for one and one for all for her. मैं अपने पिता को अपनी बेटी की सुरक्षा के लिए कम चिंता करने के लिए समझाती हूँ मुझे आशा है कि हम सब एक के लिए और हर एक हम सब के लिए खड़े होंगे I am a loud daughter of a scared father. मैं एक डरे हुए पिता की शक्तिशाली बेटी धन्यवाद स्कूल वी आर फेस्ड विथ चैलेंजेस रिसल्टिंग फ्रॉम फीमेल जेनिटो म्यूटिलेशन एंड अदर जेंडर बेस्ड वायोलेंट रिलेटेड इश्यूज वन ऑफ द चैलेंजेस दैट वी आर हैविंग एस अ स्कूल सम ऑफ दो गर्ल्स हु आर रेस्क्यूड फ्रॉम द योक्स of uh, gender based violence uh having issues like uh, stds that is uh, sexually transmitted diseases they also have uh, urinal uh, infections uh, but because of uh, the advent of this program that was brought by none other than uh Honre Bosane the Kenya lead team lead we want to say that the cases have minimized and now nowadays we are rejoicing 
we are going uh, to the villages spreading the gospel that uh, uh, FGM is a vice that should be stopped. And even as we stop it, our young girls are now going to realize and accomplish their dreams. Let us listen in uh, to Discover Kenya. Discover Kenya. Now let us take a walk to this beautiful country where we call homeland, motherland, which I believe Mtima, Emmanuel, and the rest should visit. We are welcoming you, we are inviting you to this beautiful country, and before your visit, let us take a walk. viewers welcome to this beautiful country you have seen the beautiful river flowing from the north to south towards indian ocean where it's just two kilometers away from senegal where we are sitting today uh, you are most welcomed and you have now a clue on what it is all about uh, now let us go to the next stage we are going to be distributing certificates to our ambassadors, uh, team members, and resource persons. Uh, let us start uh, that uh, process, inshallah. Ambassador, the ambassador certificate, then we do the uh, Ample um, um, cultural practices certificate, then we do our team members. Thank you. One Fatuma Abdullahi Haji, Ambassador. Uh, Marilyn Dida Levy, Ambassador. Halima Omar Ijema, Ambassador. Zaytun Ibrahim Ahmed, Ambassador. Marwa Ibrahim Ahmed, Ambassador. Maimona Mwanahamisi Abdulkadir, Ambassador. Amina Ali Mwicha, Ambassador. Grandi Nababe Bere, Emima Sita. Grandi Nabebe Ere, Yemi Masita Sami Ambassador, Zahra Ismail Sala Ambassador, Marian Gulet Farhan Ambassador, Shukriya Gabo Deko Ambassador, Leila Istisam Abdi Ambassador, Alia Khadija Bakuno, Ambassador. Hosna Ibrahim Ahmed, Ambassador. Ongera Tawayangals, Jacqueline Mwaka Nekodemas, Ambassador. Najma Naima Maulid, Ambassador. Rahab Hadara Silvano, Ambassador. Ongera, Uba Ahmed Adan, Ambassador. Linda Purity Galmole, Ambassador. Lukia Bakar Sadiq, Ambassador. 
Zainab Ismail Wario Ambassador Jasmine Helu Jilo Ambassador Alia Hamdi Ambassador Ample Cultural Certificate Ibrahim Ahmed Sane Myself Thank you very much But first, a very Macori, my friend. Thank you, thank you very much. Masi Mutoni. Clarice Ongasi Akuta. Mohamed Shugri Shide. Sadia Sango Hussein. Ahmed Mahmoud Hassan We move to our team members Boniface Aberi Makori thank you once again Masi Mudoni Clarice Ongasi Akuta Mohamed Shukri Shide Sadia Sango Hussein Milian Taka Oguba Dr. Hawa Abdul Kafur Ahmed Mahmoud Hassan Thank you very much. Uh, now, may I welcome our team lead, uh, M. Tima Millington Zolwasi, all the way from Trinidad, who had been our project lead, to continue with the next phase of the program. Welcome, my brother. So, Dad, I would like to commend you for being the great father and dad I is. What inspired you to be that father figure that no many children in the life? Excellent question. You and your brother inspired me. I had gotten a divorce and you were two months old. Your brother was a year and nine months old. I grew up in Lamantel without a father. I didn't want you all to grow up without a father. I had to get a babysitter to see about you all during the week. And on weekends, I had to take you all. On the weekends, I had to do football, cricket, Cycling with you guys, assess you all with your schoolwork and assess you all with interpersonal relation skills so that you could be better persons in society and by extension the world. You guys were my inspiration. I love you, son. You can come to me anytime with any issues. Uh, thank you very much. Next is uh... Youth Ambassador, I am a formation from India. Welcome. Hello everyone. My name is Prakshitika Tanvi Sharma and I am here speaking for the I am affirmation. I am different for different kinds of people and because people have different thoughts and different point of views about myself. But for me, I am just a kid studying in seventh grade and I am also a person for myself who's trying to find an aim I can look up to so that I, ha I can go for that aim my whole life. And um, I'm also an author for myself because I've written two books and um, I am also writing more uh, two other books and i am also a player for myself because i win in games and sports and school um i sometimes feel like i am a loser and i sometimes feel like i'm the best um i imagine uh like i am a main 
character in my in my life so movie sometimes and i am in different i am different in different parts of my life in different situations and i like myself for who i am and i'll always try to be better so um I love myself for uh, my looks, my thoughts, my uh, thinking, what I do every day and I always try to be the best of me and even though I may feel uh, guilty or regret some of my decisions in life, I always try to do the best and I try to give people the best of me and also give myself the best of me. Thank you. you next is a uh, next is a uh, Hania from India with I am affirmation point I am affirmation by Hania from India a youth ambassador I am persistent I am passionate I am creative I am innovative I am generous I am compassionate but I am also flawed shamed, impulsive, and cowardly. I am a culmination of my experiences. I am who I am because of my actions and their consequences. But most of all, I am proud of who I am. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, at this point now, let us welcome our brother, MT Masurwazi, uh, to take us to the next level of the program. Thank you. Bring some some goodies, some surprises, right? As Sunny said, and you all have been here throughout the week. We did a lot of work with these young people from across the globe, and today we are very, very proud to unveil to you all a documentary that was created out of this experience, an advocacy manual, and we have some next steps which we'll get into. But before we reach there, we have some certificates to distribute, right? So when my technical team is ready for me, we will go straight into distributing because you all will have seen the ambassadors receive their certificates, resource personnel, team members. Even we did some, a program with um, Dr. Betty on harmful cultural practices but we have not seen our team leads receive certificates outside of being part of that, the team members, but as part of the project leads. Who, because that six persons who led this program from the six different countries. You have Honorable Ibrahim Sane, Kenya. We have Kenja Bo, Bahamas. We have Ratisha Tawari from India. We have Queen Mother from Ghana. We have Shihar Hassan from Sri Lanka. And, of course, yours truly from Trinidad and Tobago. So, we too should be rewarded. Right? We also celebrated, as you all have known, International Women's Day and Women and Girls in Science. And we had some other key persons who we want to also recognize who lent their voices to this project. So, once you're ready to roll, we're rolling. 
I mean, we're going nice. So, first, we have four international women speakers. We have Aisha Martin from the Bahamas. Dr. Indira Martin, also from the Bahamas. Honorable Glennis Hannah Martin, Bahamas, and Kenja Wallace, all coming from the Bahamas. These are our international women speakers, and we could give them a round of applause. They lend their voices to this cause. And we're moving on. We have from Ghana, Rita Nana Amaboreteng. Now, I apologize if I'm assassinating people's names. My name have also been assassinated. <laughs> so Rita, right, from, the, from Ghana. And Mama Ataru II from Ghana. These women lend their voices, their powerful voices to the scores. We have Dr. Betty. Now, Dr. Betty McConey. You ain't going to catch me with the first and second day. All, I ain't trying to assassinate nobody. Name. Dr. Betty McConey. Now, Dr. Betty McConey. An amazing, powerful advocate for women and girls. She was the one that led the Harmful Cultural Practices Workshop with all the team leads, resource persons from the six countries, right? Dr. Um, Betty, a survivor herself, have been working for over two decades on the ground, right? To ensure that this practice cease. So, you know, pick up to Dr. Betty Makoni. Princess Muradium. You know, we have seen her, we have heard a lot of persons speaking about her. Right? Um, Dr. Um, Her Royal Highness Princess Muradium also supported this project from Jumpstart. A matter of fact, she was the one who made that link with Queen Mother. So there are two international voices in this project. Thank you very much. So we have coming up our international voices from India, Dr. Reena Kumari, Dr. Swapnil Porwal, Dr. Veena Pachori, Dr. Niru Misra. Right, all from in, those, those from India. Right, thank you very much. Powerful women lending their voices to the scores. We're moving on to Kenya. Our beloved, hardworking principal. And her name is actually Madam Clarice. You understand? So big up to our Madam Clarice. Right? Powerful voice. Powerful woman. And we hear now in TNT, Hanifa Philip. Kelsey Moses, young pilot. Now, Sani. You said that you want us. No, we are going to travel. Eh? We are coming to Kenya. We are coming to Ghana. We are coming to India, Bahamas, Sri Lanka. And we have our own personal private pilot, Kelsey Moses. Right? Young pilot will take us to these countries. And Elizabeth Gray from TNT. So, as mentioned, we 
have certificates for our international women. We also have some recognition for our team leads. Now, Sandy spoke about some of the challenges in terms of, and I forgot to mention that I'm glad Sandy mentioned that, that language barrier. You know, it's also a challenge. You know, they say Chinese have a sing-song um, accent, and we speak very fast, right? So that is a challenge in itself, right? But we have to recognize our team leads, you know, for doing a phenomenal job with this project. Because this project, yes, it may have rolled out from 2020, but each team lead who spoke would have told you this started way back in 2016 when we first met. That momentum just picked up when Sane sent that WhatsApp message and say, hey, let me change the world. So we're moving towards changing the world, adding our voices to changing this world. So are we ready for our project leads? So, Sani, I'm seeing my girls in the background there. They hear me? I want, I want, it. you know, I love them. To, I want to see them say, I'm my girls. Hello, the beautiful girls of Sani Girls High School. Watch me. I love Sani Girls High School. It is, ah! That is it. And we're going to see a lot more from them. So, as I said, we have some things on veil. That's why I'm here. I nearly come to take over Sani and Mokori show, you know. I have some surprises for them and all. Because Mokori and Sani don't know what we have lined up here. I don't even know what we have lined up here. <laughs> so talk to me, Mr. Manny. Right, so we have been working for the past two years, right, on this project. And our team from India using the materials. You, know, you all remember, we have three themes we worked on. Gender-based violence in a cross-country context. Family life and recreation. And equality and equity in governance. So what you're all going to see unveiled first here today is our, ad, oh, I'm sorry, our curriculum for a school outreach program that will be rolled out within the six countries. If you want it in your country, contact us. You know, we want to cross all the borders. So let's see a snippet, again, a little thing, of the school curriculum. So this school awareness program against gender-based violence, right? Gender-based violence in a cross-country context. We want to look at what is violence. You know, we'll explore the categories and types of violence. What is gender-based violence? Gender-based violence against women and girls. So that's one of our specific um, purpose. What about gender-based violence in schools? Bullying, which is a phenomenon that we're dealing with long time. Child abuse. Ways to teach about good and bad touch. And the taboo topic that everybody afraid, sex education. We also want to look at what is stopping the government from protecting our women and children globally. You have all these things in writing, but no action. Domestic violence. Okay. Femicide. 
gender-based violence and the pandemic. A big problem. Uh, say this is just a snippet of what we'll be doing in this curriculum. Right? And these are just one or two of the activities in terms of def defining gender roles. Right? Yes, so that is just a snippet of the curriculum that we have designed. And we want to present uh, the world. We want to present uh, Sane Girls High School. We want to present uh, Kenya, a documentary that we created entitled Sane Girls High School our featured presentation for today. Dr. Kendi introduce yourself. I'm Paul uh, Fils Makori. I teach at Senegal's High School. I usually handle uh, English and literature and at the same time I have been uh, a facilitator uh, during this noble program that was brought to our school and I really uh, appreciate the founders of this uh, program because it has impacted us as a school positively. Thank you. You kindly take at least three minutes to respond to these questions as, as it pertains to DPS. Yeah. What does the DPS and for women global means to you? I think uh, uh, the Governance, Peace and Security Summit is all about uh, taking the girl child through the harmful 
cultural practices so that at least they can uh, they can know that they exist and they can know how they cannot be bystanders in as far as uh, stamping this uh, vice from their society. These are Kenyan GPS and the whole global summit participants from Sunday Girls High School with their slogan, I stand up against gender-based violence. So I am the voice of reason. I'll uphold the basic human rights as enshrined in the Kenyan constitution. I will stand with gender-based violence survivors. I promise not to be a bystander. So, help me God! This is Senegal High School. Uh, Senegal High School was initiated in the year 2015. I was the person behind the initiation and the establishment of this, this school. The communities around this place are cultural conservatives. They conserve a lot of their culture. So to fight and eradicate or reduce the if a negative effect of cultural harmful cultural practices which includes and not limited to that girls are not have no rights to education to fight that we came up with the idea of having a rescue center which where we can protect our girls to a higher level of education where we can save our girls from early marriages we can save our girls from any other harmful cultural practices now, when the idea was born and shared with the communities around, uh, the communities proposed and supported the idea, but they wanted to be called to be a government-owned institution rather than a rescue center. That's how it was turned from a rescue center to a high school. Now, as we stand today, this is Sunny Girls School, a public high school owned by the government of Kenya. What do we hope? What do we expect out of this school? We expect to have one rescued our girls from the cultural, negative cultural practice that says girls are not entitled to education. Two, we, we hope achieve professionals out of this school. Three, we hope to nurture talents out of our girls to help their community and the larger country and in in a bigger picture change the world to the right cause we deserve. That's what I can say. Thank you very much. This one used to be the main office. This was the administration block before we moved on to the other side. Uh, this one here used to be the staff room. Yeah. And then this one here used to be the, the Bassas office. Here, this is where the store used to be. This one here was the kitchen before we moved on to the hall, the other side. This is what we used to use when the school started. You can see where you may have come. This one is the gate that is uh, leading us to the, the dormitories. That one is uh, Divisa, and then we have uh, Simba, and then we have Salama at the extreme end. Yeah. This one is uh, the project for the school, uh, the year 2021. Our candidates, this is what they have drawn uh, for, the, for their project. That is, I think. Uh, the rains are coming. We are really enjoying the waters. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Hey.
ones called Senegals. Now Senegals was one of the uh, was a school that participated in the GPS Global Summit. We are so privileged to have been given that opportunity to participate in uh, that global summit. The girls have benefited a lot and we are so grateful. Uh, Sunday Girls is among the many schools in Kenya and having been given that opportunity, we really appreciate. It's a young school that began in 2016 by our former MP, Honorable Ibrahim Sane. The main reason why this school came up and uh, the best that ever happened in Tana River is because these girls are now confined in one place for a whole three months without being disturbed, without thinking on what is going on at their homes, without the worry of I might be married off easily. So it's now turned to be more like a rescue center to most of the girls who are vulnerable out there. We are in a society where a girl is not allowed to speak before men. So being in a, a mixed school, these girls shy off, they cannot express themselves. But when they find themselves, they are alone in a boarding school, they get the confidence to express themselves, to be able to talk out and speak out their voice in case of any problem. We've had a few success stories because the school is still young and uh, we are happy to celebrate the few things that has happened in a span of six years. One of them is we have been able to see two classes go through the education system uh, of Kenya from Form 1 to Form 4 and they have completed successfully. Uh, in 2020 we had our second class doing the KCSC and uh, this one also uh, we successfully managed to take all the girls through the 844 system, the, 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 the secondary system, and the girls emerged uh, the, after the results. We were position three in the whole county and position two in our sub county. Uh, out of uh, the 45 girls, two managed to join the university. Our joining uh, points in uh, Kenya is a C plus and above. So we had two with C plus and they were able to do the university courses. Also, we've had an increase in enrollment because when we began, uh, the, the community was not for it. People were against it because they felt like we wanted to make their girls uh, more knowledgeable and they could not be able to uh, to subscribe to their cultural practices. But that is what we were fighting ag against. That is what we were trying to educate the girls. That once you have your education, you will be able to, stamp, uh, to stop those harmful cultural practices like FGM, the gender-based violence, the child labor that is going on out there. They will be able to, to acquire education like boys, get jobs, be employed in offices, and... Uh, uh, proceed with their life. It's not a must for them to be married at a tender age. The girls will wish to be also linked with the outside world. They will wish to be able to integrate ICT in their day-to-day -day learning. The school lacks such facilities. We don't have computers. We don't have those gadgets that the girls can use to integrate ICT in learning if they can get a resource center where they can be able to also uh, Google what is going on outside in the other parts of the country and the world. They will be able to get more information. Also, being a girls' school, we also have a major problem of water. We depend on one borehole that is saline. And uh, around 200 girls gathering to pump water in one borehole with the limited time, it's a bit challenging. And also we have to procure now the drinking water by water boozers, uh, which is also a bit expensive on our part. So maybe if brains can come together and help us on how we can get a permanent solution to this water shortage for the girls to enjoy that resource of water as they're in school, it will also help us create more time to be in, in class instead of concentrating on where they can get the water for their daily cleaning. Sunny Girls Fraternity, we are so grateful to the GPS community program.
that has been rolled out. Our girls have participated actively and they have learned a lot. Well done, well done, Sanegius High School. And viewers, that was the short. That was the documentary short. There's a full-length documentary for that particular um, area. Like I said, we also have a documentary for the entire experience. It's called a virtual experience across borders. And as I'm on a virtual experience across borders, we are also unveiling today our advocacy manual, which is also called a virtual experience across borders, but that is the, the text, the, the manual to it, and you'll see the video soon. So, um, as you all know, oh, we yeah, we're going a little too fast. <laughs> Let's go back <laughs> to the, the front cover. Right, so uh, as you all know, our sponsors are the U.S. Embassy Port of Spain and the Alumni Engagement Innovation Fund out of the U.S. Department of State. Um, so this is the Advocacy Manual 2022, the GPS Global Empowerment Summit. So, and you're just getting a snippet here. We can't, oh well, we can't give you everything, right? So, let's continue. So, well, I did line up the contents. So, we, you have to begin definition. So, we have a definition as to what is gender-based violence, right? We also have some definitions and this section is very interesting we move from a to z people world almost every letter of the alphabet is represented by a definition dealing with harmful cultural practices not just for girls and women but you know, for boys also and men so we we have that in the manual and we 
have an article on toxic masculinity and boys. You know? Go ahead. We decided to spotlight our GBV advocates around the world. And we are showing all who are spotlighted. So you're going to see them. We have from the Bahamas, Marion Bethel. We have from Kenya, Sadia Hussein. We have out of India, Lena. Yeah, go ahead. We have right here at home, our very own Dr. Gabriela Hussain. Her Royal Highness, Princess Meridium. Dr. Betty. You can, listen, we can't say we spotlighting GBV advocates. And don't spotlight this woman, you know. This woman is a giant out here in this field. Well done, Dr. Betty. Well done. And we have a, a young advocate in the mix, you know. Kirby Moses, a, a, a very young, energetic, creative advocate. And spotlighting some of our participants, because they did a lot throughout the, the program, right? And then we have our team leads, Queen Mother, of Ghana, Queen Mother and her team, they want to read a, uh, a television program. No. So, and this manual, I should say, is a very interactive manual. Ah, you're recognizing some people there, boy. Sane Gales High School. And we decide to also give some advocacy tips. All right? Because we want our young people to be ad advocates. And this section is dedicated to them, their poems, you know, youth voices, and other. Um, there's a section called Did You Know? Ah, Did You Know? Right, where I learned a lot from Did You Know? And I want to thank those young people for sharing on, on Did You Know? I am poems again. Must say the, the 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 spoken word poetry section of this program was well received by the young people. I want to thank Jaron Rees and Kirby Moses. Now we have a creative corner. Now this is a very interactive manual. You could get it in hard um, PDF and the soft copy where you could interact with the material, right? You have audio. We have Crossword. We want to thank Sharon Bruce from TNT for creating these crosswords for us, these puzzles. The word search, I should say, not crossword. Right? Section on UN, the SDGs for kids, for children. And how to write your I Am poem, because we want you to continue writing. That's our, that's the manual that was produced. Out of, out of this, out of this program. program. So we have a manual, an, an advocacy manual, a docu two documentaries, actually, two documentaries, and a school curriculum, right? So can I get back to Kenya, please? I, I don't know, like, it, we hog the show out. We come down, man. We, you know? And where, so, as you can see behind me, you may not know, but I'm telling you, we are at the American Spaces, U.S. Embassy, Port of Spain. So I want to thank the team here at the Public Affairs Division. Um, I want to thank Rose. I want to thank Kovell. Now, as soon as I start to call people names, it'll be a problem. That's so I'm going to take my time now. Um, Kristen. I want to thank Kristen. Thank Rose. I thank Kovell. Kovell has been the grant officer on this project. I want to thank Gail. Gail also supported 
from the start, you know, this grand project, and other public affairs staff, MT um, if I forget anybody name you would not be allowed in this building. But I've been prompted. I should start over on the Tandy Charge. Charge. Chant 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 and I hope I have not left out anybody else from this amazing team at the Public Affairs Division, U.S. Embassy Policy. I want to really applaud them. We are back. Sane, I know I am preparing for Juma. You all are preparing to already breakfast, right? Because more give time by you. So I want to hand back over to you. Right? We have the certificates for the team leads, and I will allow you to present those certificates. As much as um, I have led this project, I want to say publicly that I enjoy following the lead of Ibrahim Sane. Right? Um, he's a, a, a visionary, as you can see with the Sane Girls High School. Right, um, I'm not leaving out the strong women on the team. I, I enjoy following the lead to our Ritisha, Kendra, Queen Mother, right, and we have our brother Shahar. So, if, Honorable Sane, I want to hand over to you to present the certificates to the team leads. Uh. I think before before we take over from him, Tima, may, may, we, may he tell us and um, announce maybe the top ambassadors from each country. Ah, the yes. Yeah, ah, ambassadors Sane boy. You see what I tell you, I like to follow the lead of Sane. So, yes, the top ambassadors. So you want to congratulate these young people. From the Bahamas, Ramona McLennan, Crystal from Ghana, Abigail from TNT, Shurabi from India, and Grandi from Kenya. Congratulations, the top global ambassadors. So, so <laughs> calling yes, yes. <laughs> well done. <laughs> so, Sanya, over to you with the certificates. Uh, I think we can have uh, the next thing is to issue certificates to the team leads. Yes. Team yes. leads certificates. Yes. Uh, I hope the. Uh, Emmanuel, is he with you, with us? Yeah, yeah. Hello. If Emmanuel is not yeah, here, we are not here. <laughs> One other than M. Tima Solwazi from Trinidad Tobacco, able, ambitious, and strong man we have in this team. Thank you very much, M. Tima. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> Next is Kendra Boe, JP, project lead, project lead GPSA for women from Ghana, from Bahamas. Bahamas. Thank you, Kendra, a resourceful person, lady, and a stronger. Next is M. Shihar Hassan, our lawyer. Our, our lawyer and team lead from in Sri Lanka. Thank you very much, uh, brother. Next is Ritisha Mani Tiwari, our, our team lead from India, Hungara, and thank you very much. Next is 
none other than myself, Ibrahim Ahmed Sane. <laughs> Project Team Lead, Kenya. Thank you very much, uh, Apple team, who had been with us all the way from the beginning to the end of the beginning. I believe this is the end of a beginning. Uh, thank you very much. Next, I think now, is Nana Siwara the third. Thank you very much. Our lady in Ghana, Ghana, Ghana. Thank you very much. Table. Uh, our next item will be now, our next item will be, before maybe we allow closing remarks, we have a poem from Senegal entitled, What is Harmful is Universal. This will be live from our girls. <laughs> we stand up now. We stand up. I'm going to strength, I'm going to energy. One, two, three. Tima, uh, thank you very much, our viewers, for taking your time. Uh, this is a wonderful event. Uh, I believe from here now, it's Mtima and team to go back and do a postmortem of the project and come back uh, with a beautiful, well-designed program. And uh, as I said, I'm still reiterating that it is the end of a beginning. This today marks the end of our beginning. Uh, so I hope to be meeting you once uh, frequently, even now and then, to discuss, share more ideas and experiences. I actually learned a lot from Mtima and the rest of the team. Wonderful. We were just idle, not connecting to each other. Please let us connect, and everybody should connect to his neighbor, brother, sister, to work towards changing the world to the right cause. I'll say at that point, allow my brother to say a, a remark, and then our able lead project person, MTMA, will conclude the day. Thank you very much. Uh, wonderful. Uh, my parting shot, uh, my parting shot today is that uh, I want to extend my special vote of thanks to M. Tima. You are wonderful. Let me say that you are wonderful. In fact, uh, you've done a lot to us as a school, and uh, we can't afford not to uh, congratulate you. This is the final day of the summit. It does not mean that everything is going to end here. This is the end of the, be the beginning. 
Uh, I want to say that uh, my brothers from Trinidad and Tobago, uh, my friends from India, my friends from Ghana, my friends from all over the world, let us go out there and uh, send the message that gender-based violence is a vice that should be stopped so that we are going to have women leaders as we have seen in uh, so many countries for example, the first day on Monday, we had so many women leaders opening the forum. I want to say thank you and may God bless you. Hope we are going to meet soon. And, and, yes. and Tina, before you take over, just a flashback, a flashback on my message in November 2020. Hello, it's my hope that everyone among us is well and healthy safe from the pandemic of COVID-19. Dear friends, I know every one of us is struggling in doing one or two things towards community service, but will it not be wise to form a united international network on addressing peace building and conflict resolution among the communities internationally? It's always good we remain connected and together as a team. What do you think? That's my take. Thank all. 21st November 2020, 8 a.m. EAT, East African time. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that was the text that started. <laughs> this. It started GPS. <laughs> yes. Um, I I want to say that I, that this has really been a life changing, overwhelming um, event project. You know, I I want to thank um, everybody who supported and was a part of this project. I want to thank the team leads and all their resource personnel. Yes, um, Sane and and Makori, it is the end of the beginning so i want to make this call now oh, you see this flag on this side here. right you see this flag <laughs> you see this flag here i am making yes. a call to this flag and, and a serious call here now U.S. Embassy Port of Spain went way and beyond in supporting this project. We are calling on U.S. Embassy Kenya, U.S. Embassy Ghana, U.S. Embassy India, U.S. Embassy Sri Lanka, and U.S. Embassy Bahamas. Reach out to the team leads. Yes reach out to us and let's continue this work right this is the beginning this is the end of the beginning at the beginning of the end end of the, end of the beginning end end, end, end of, of the, the beginning, beginning. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of the beginning and i really want the other embassies to jump on board right and let's push this work. We have work to do in Trinidad and Tobago. We have work to do in Kenya. Right? We have a lot of work to do with Sane Girls High School. Right? And let's help these girls. Let's contribute to what they are already doing in terms of developing these young women. We have work to do in Ghana, Sri Lanka, India, Bahamas. Right? So, thank you very much. We have come to the end of the beginning, the beginning. of a new era, right? Um, Sane, how do you say, I want to learn some Swahili here this morning. How do you say, we love you in Swahili? Pardon? We love Pardon? you. Huh? Nakupenda. Na Nakupenda. Tunakupenda. Tunakupenda. 
We love you. Tuna kupenda. Tuna kupenda. Ah, uh, hello, well, watch now. Swahili 101. Tuna, tuna Sane kupenda. Girls High School and Kenya. Tuna kupenda. <laughs> <laughs> Tuna wapenda. Tuna wapenda. Tuna wapenda. Tu aye. So you got it all that. Sane Girls High School and Kenya. Tuna wapenda. We love you. Ah. And I want to close off with singing my song. We survive this project. Um, how do you want to again? <laughs> That's what, I, I want to sing for you all. Uh, uh, staying alive, staying alive. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, staying alive. Woo! Staying alive, staying alive. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday against high school. So we have a we, you want to close up with, with your video singing. So oh God, I doesn't want to leave all your boys sad. <laughs> we need an after party. <laughs> I right, thank you. Bye bye. So have a like um, peace peace be upon everyone in the world. Thank you. Ramadan Barak. Ramadan Mubarak.
There are three components to the summit. One, focus group discussions to be held in August of 2021. Two, a five-day virtual workshop to be held November 22nd through the 26th of 2021. And three, a global summit to be held April 4th through the 8th of 2022. We want you to think, share your thoughts, views, experiences, lend your voice as we advocate for equality and equity and navigate towards governance, peace and security for our women and girls.